so the next example is um, similar to the setup that we kind of used to derive the equation of a line in the first place. We're, we're given two points. We want to find the equation of the line that goes through those two points. Um, now, one of the things that you can always do, uh, and I find that this can be helpful, is just draw a line, right? Now, I think one of the places where people can get themselves in trouble is you, you try to actually accurately plot these two points in three dimensions and, and draw like a diagram that makes sense. But plotting these things in 3D is, is it's hard, right? Um, we use computer-generated images in the textbook for a reason. And so what we do instead is we just say, okay, well, let's just take our points. We'll take, we'll take V to be PQ. And you don't really need the diagram here, but sometimes it helps, okay? So V, vector PQ, remember we do head minus tail. So we do one minus two, minus one. Three subtract minus one, three plus one, four. Minus one minus two is minus three. Um, by the way, if you, um, if you subtract in the other order, like it doesn't actually matter. Um, if you, if you swap them, at least in this case, if you, there are going to be some situations where it matters. But here, if you swap the order, it's not a big deal. All that happens is the vector points the other way. And, and all that really means is that to get to a certain point on the line, like that point R, well, if we're starting here and the vector points the other way, well, now we'll need a negative value of t rather than a positive value of t because, you know, the vector, all, all that happens is the vector points in the other direction, and so your parameter changes sign. Fine, right? Um, also, if you change the initial point on the line, that doesn't matter either. Um, all that changes is sort of the starting value for the parameter, right? It tells you when t is equal to zero, what point you're at, right? Um, so we're going to choose p to be the initial point, right? So when t is equal to zero, we'll be at the point p. When t is equal to one, we'll be at the point q. If t is somewhere else, we'll be somewhere else, right? Um, but we've got the vector, and we'll take We'll take P naught to be the point P, 2 minus 1, 2. If you wanted to use Q instead, go ahead. You're not wrong. You can do it that way too. And so we get, I'll use R. So R is going to be P naught plus T times V. We can write it like that. And let's actually sort of spell out what that is. X, Y, Z is going to be um, 2 minus 1, 2 plus t times minus 1, 4, minus 3. All right, remember the t always goes on the direction vector. It's easy to get those two vectors mixed up. Um, once you do a few of them, you'll get used to getting it in the right place. Um, that's it. There's the line. If you wanted to, you can combine them like we did over there. You can get the parametric equations or the symmetric equations. But if you're just looking for any old equation of a line, vector equation works well, and there it is.